It is beginning of October and I'm out for a new adventure. Escaping from winter basically. And I've been just taking a train from the middle of Germany to the southwestern part of Germany, Freiburg. And from here I will be cycling down to Morocco and the Canarian Islands. So let's go to France. By now I'm very close to France and you can't see it from here because I'm cycling in between the bushes but on the other side of the bushes is the Rhine River which is basically the border between Germany and France and I want to show you how a border crossing between two Schengen countries like Germany and France looks like because it's quite funny if you compare it to other international borders so and here we go I'm crossing the border right now and just in that moment I've entered France not a single soul here I'm in France. For my first night in France, I choose to sleep directly on a dike of a canal. Just getting up that dike was a little challenge for itself, but once I made it, it was a beautiful and calm spot where only boats would pass by every now and then. Good morning. I've just slept here. Maximum lazy setup. Put the ground sheet from my tent on the ground and just my mattress on top of it and I slept there just without a tent because no rain, just a wind. No. So, yeah, it's really windy today and I'm glad I'm between the bushes here. Kind of protects me a little bit from some wind and I'm doing now 18 km per hour. It's decent, but look at this wind here. Just a little bit worried that I'm gonna have all the way down to Morocco, just headwind. Oh shit. Oh yeah, let's see. I'm almost in Mulhus now and I'm thinking Maybe I will take a train because uh, friends will come to visit me in Malaga by the 10th of November, which is about 36 days and it's 2000 km. So either I cycle every day like 70 km or I will take a train a little bit and have then more days off or can relax a bit more in Spain. Otherwise, I'm in too much in a rush, which wouldn't be much of a point for a cycle tour. Lunch break, and I've just discovered a patisserie. And look what I bought. Une tarte de framboise. That's like a little cake with raspberries on top. It looks absolutely nice. Mm. Oh my god, that is really good. Mm. Eventually, I reached the train station in Mulhus and hopped on the next train to Lyon, from where I continued cycling again. So I'm following the Rhone River on the cycle path, which is very nice. Really good infrastructure here so far. The bicycle path I'm following is the Via Rhone and it is part of the Eurovelo number 17. So there are plenty of signs which guide you really well and the cool thing is that this route actually follows a way that doesn't involve much contact with traffic. The sun went down now and I'm looking for something to camp. I do have something in mind which is just behind me on the other side of the river. That looks pretty good. Let's check it out. Maybe it's, it's as good as I think. Ah. Ah. This is just perfect for a hammock spot. Good morning, it's a new day and it's very windy again. We had a strong wind from the left, but it's good because it's actually a tailwind. I will go in this direction and the wind is coming from there. So that's perfect. So let's pack my hammock back into my bike and keep rolling. It's very nice with wind, almost no effort. You just sit on the bike, cruise, very easily, 26 k's an hour. 
you along this bike path, which is very nice. I'm going now towards Narbonne, following the Mediterranean coast here. Next city will be set or set. I don't know. My French is not that bon. I'm just following Google Maps actually and just picked a quite quite scenic ride actually. So Let's dive into Google Maps Wonderland. So here we do have a junction and Google says this way. So let's follow this way. I guess Google Maps is quite out for an adventure. At least when I use in Germany Google Maps for bike navigation, I always end up in like the most crazy situation in my own country. Only thanks to Google Maps, so nice. Look at this. Now, me and Google Maps, we got lost this way. I'm supposed to take, but it says clearly Chaussee Gardée, Assez Interdite Propriété Privée. We. Oui. Tricky. So, well, yeah, I went now back. And let's see what's the alternative route, actually. I'm not too sure. The thing is, I forgot to download this open source maps on my phone before I left for the trip. So now I've got just Google Maps and I was like, well, I would download it later and deal with it later. And now it's later and now I'm dealing with it in a different way than expected. But it's beautiful. Can't complain about a detour that looked good. So it's now 10 o'clock. I finally found something. Man, it was difficult, but what I found now really paid off all the effort. <laughs> You're gonna see tomorrow when I've got light again. Ugh. And that's the place where I was sleeping yesterday. I guess that's some sort of a bird watching or view platform. I did put my mattress here on the ground and just slept next to my bike. So <laughs> I'm in some uh, beach village town kind of thing which is very not busy right now because it's not touristic time so there's a supermarket but they open at four which is quite late so I found a patisserie and yeah just some bread for now to keep me going because I'm really hungry now hmm. that's good there's so many of those kind of camping villages in this village it's crazy Completely dead now, empty. Nobody's here. And it's just October, it's perfect weather, but it's already out of season. Following Google Maps today. Uh, where am I? What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, I can definitely see tire traces everywhere. So I guess somewhat this direction should be should be right. Just turned out that I've missed a right turn. Yep, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I can just push it open. Ah, damn, it's really difficult to cross here this area because it's all this kind of dry wetland, as I would call it. I don't know. Fuck's sake. That's what happens when you follow Google Maps, I guess. Quickly translated this Station Mont Interdit, which means uh, parking prohibited. So I guess I'll just make my way through because I can actually see a lot of trails from other bikes and cars. Well, okay, 
Okay, manage this. Let's see what's the situation on the other side. So, here we've got the same. We're gonna do just the same trick and continue. Okay, Google Maps, okay. Good choice, good choice, I like it, I like it. I think my nose by now is quite cooked. Uh, I feel it's sunburned, so I wanted to get actually ahead now, but I can't. Everything is closed here. So I'm gonna improvise. <laughs> Look at this. I can see cookies. It's genius. Uh, it's for my nose. Otherwise, I don't know, it gets roasted quite hard. That's, that works nicely, huh? <laughs> Cheap and uh, recycling, right? Man, that's actually a really nice spot for a hammock. Should I stay here or should I keep going? No chance, no chance, man. <laughs> there were so many mosquitoes right now and I was just pausing there. That's like, nah, nah, nah. As soon as I would stop, it would make just all around me. I don't know, what do they eat? How do they breed so much? There's no one here around. I mean, what else do they eat apart of human blood or mammal blood? Ooh, it's sunset and there are flamingos and the light is awesome. I want to capture a nice picture, but there's so many mosquitoes. So I gotta be kind of quick and stealthy in the same time. That was just now a really uncomfortable situation because I get stuck in the sand, so I couldn't move anymore. I had to walk and the mosquitoes were like <laughs> all the time around me. Shit, they're even flying now in my eyes. <laughs> Just in a moment, perfect. Okay, yeah. Let's see what I can do regarding to the mosquitoes. I have to find a nice safe spot. Where the fuck am I? Guys, I'm supposed to take this road. I'm not sure if you can see on this camera how steep this actually is. That's insane. Somebody's smoking your weed. That smells good. Good morning. I've spent the night here on this place. There's a cliff just in front of me. It goes down quite deep and there's a boat down there. It looks very nice, everything. So I just put my tent last night here. It's actually very good, but very um, humid. So I'm drying here my stuff a little bit. And I'm leaving now the French coast. I'm going to now Perpignan. And from there I turn off more west towards Andorra. Bonjour. 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 One last meal on the French coast before heading towards the mountains of the Pyrenees. I guess my bottom breaker is starting to make noises. I hope it's going to last a little longer. Probably I can fix it in Barcelona. Until then, let's see. I do have to cross now the Pyrenees. So, and here this episode comes to an end. See you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>